Hey friends, welcome to another workout. Today we have a total body interval workout. So what we're gonna have is two weight training exercises, one cardio blast per round. We're gonna work for 45 seconds, we're gonna rest for 15 seconds. We have all compound movements, so that means each exercise has two movements combined together. So you're gonna to wanna to go a tiny bit lighter in your weights than you normally would. We're just gonna blast these arms up pretty much get the entire body, and then we will end with core. So I'm gonna range anywhere from my 15 pounds down to my eight pounds. So somewhere in that range, whatever your overhead press might be, so if you normally do an overhead press that's about 10 pounds, that would probably be a great heavy weight to start with. So are you ready? We're gonna get warm, we're gonna get this whole body working, and we're gonna end this week strong. Are you ready? Here we go. Nice big shoulder rolls. We're getting everything today, so we gotta work. And roll it to the front. This is my favorite. I love getting the shoulders ready, getting the mobility going. We're gonna take some big arm swings. So swing it up and swing it back. Swing it up and swing it back. The only thing we're not really gonna work today is our legs. It's more of a total body, upper body with core. We did legs a lot yesterday. And let's go into some trunk rotations, just side to side. All right, hands on your hips. We're gonna hinge forward, lean back. Okay, feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees. Here we go, flat back. And then really push and come forward. Get the hamstrings, push the hips, get the hip flexors and the back. And last one. All right, open and close those arms. Let's just get those chest muscles open. Also the back. All right, go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back and then pull down. Let's open up the chest and the front of the shoulders. And then let's bring them to the front, clasp your hands, turn them inside out and open up between the shoulder blades. Just get a little stretch there. And release that. Let's go into some butt kicks. So, side to side, pump those arms, pull the heels up. Now today, while we're working, you're gonna think about your core engaging, right? And you're gonna think about your posture, keeping a nice straight back, no arch of the back, no tuck of the pelvis. And you're gonna pay attention to where your weight is distributed in your feet. So many things to think about, I know, but the more I say this, the more you're just gonna start doing it, it'll be muscle memory and you won't have to think about it. Step touch. We wanna get warm here, get our body ready to work. We got a lot of work to do today. and rest. Okay, so let me go over this first round. You have three exercises. First one, you're gonna have a bicep curl, supine curl, so palms are forward. You're gonna curl. You're gonna rotate to the top in a press, rotate back down, and then curl down. So when you get to the top of that curl, we want to rotate open so we can press to the top. When we're coming down, we rotate back so we can lower that curl. That's your first exercise. Your second exercise is a lateral raise with a shoulder rotation. We're gonna keep a bend in our elbow. So we have a lateral raise. It's not a straight arm raise, it's a bent arm lateral raise. Knuckles are on top, but elbows are in the lead. So we're gonna lift. When we come down, we're gonna open and close. So lateral raise, shoulder rotation. Then your cardio drill is skaters. We are doing all low impact cardio today. So it is a step touch, leg behind. We are not jumping today, we are taking it easy. We can still work hard, even without high impact. Those are your exercises. So I'm gonna use 15 pounds for my bicep curl to my overhead press. I'm gonna use eight pounds for my lateral raise, and then you don't need anything for the skaters. Are you ready for this? Okay, grab your weights. You're standing nice and tall. 
tall. You've got a neutral spine. We don't have an arch. Weight is in the heel and then the balls of your feet under your big toe and your pinky. Let those toes kind of spread out a little bit. 45 seconds, and then you'll rest for 15. We'll go straight to the lateral raise. Are you ready? Here we go. Curl to the top, press overhead, come back down, lower your curl. Now I want you to use control as you do both of the movements. It's not a race. We want to use our strength to lift the weights up and to lower the weights down. Now, make sure that you are not shrugging the shoulders. So the shoulders stay down. So elbows are in for this. You're gonna press overhead, the shoulders are down. You're gonna bring it back in and lower down and rest. Okay. Set those weights, I'm gonna set them to the front of me. Grab your lighter weight for the lateral raise with the shoulder rotation. So right in the front, slight bend in the elbows. We're gonna keep those shoulders down as we lift. Here we go. Lateral, lower, rotate open, come back in. Lateral, lower, rotate open, come back in. So elbows are in the lead, knuckles are on top for that lateral raise. Awesome. Give a little pause at the top of that lateral raise, just for an extra burn, just for an extra little bit of fun there. Okay, set those weights down. Take a little breather. We have skaters for 45 seconds. We'll rest, we'll do that whole thing again. Okay, make sure you got a little bit of space and your weights are out of your way, you don't want to trip on them. Here we go, step touch. Now you need to bend in the knees. We want to protect those knees at all times. And you're just stepping, crossing your foot behind. Swing your arm to the front. The more you use your arms, the higher your heart rate gets. Awesome. So big step touch. If you want to jump it, of course you can. But my goal today for you is a low impact. Plus we did legs yesterday. So we don't want to overwork the legs, right? Rest. We're going to go back to the top and do that all over again. So I'm going to grab my 15s. Get your posture, you're standing tall, your shoulders are down, your chest is open. Here we go. Up to the top, rotate overhead, lower back down, and lower. So we've got biceps working right here, shoulders and upper back. Really control that weight coming back down. It's when we come back down that we tend to want to just drop everything but we want to really use the muscle. And don't hold your breath, make sure you breathe. How's your core, still engaged? And rest. Okay, go ahead and set those weights down. Grab your lighter weights whatever those are for you. Ready? Here we go. Lateral, lower, shoulder rotation, close. Feel anything in those shoulders? I definitely do. A little burning at the top of those deltoids. Five more seconds, and we got our cardio drill.
and rest. Okay, set those down. Make sure you've got space to do the cardio. So stand to the side, give yourself a little space if you don't have anything side to side. Here we go. Step touch, let's get low. Really step out to the side. Let's make the legs work just a little bit here. If you enjoy this workout, by the way, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. It lets me know that you like this. Woo! Heart rate's getting up there. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to breathe heavy. Five more seconds. We just have one more time through this round, and we're going to move on and rest. Doing okay? One more time through. If you need to adjust weights, do it. I'm gonna stick with my same weights. Find your position. Here we go. Curl to the top. Press overhead. Slowly back down. And lower. Get one more rep. We got this. And rest. Okay. One more time through with the lateral raise and the shoulder rotation. Here we go. Up. Slowly lower down. And open. Let's do it again. And open. We can do this. Even if your shoulders are on fire, don't give up. Mine are burning too. Let's get one more rep. We can do it. Rest, oh my goodness. Okay, one more time of this cardio drill with our skaters and we're gonna move on. Are you ready? Here we go. So, what are you gonna love about yourself today? Do you have another thing that you can choose? I know if you dig deep and you think about it, you can find something. I'll tell you what, I love that you show up. So if you haven't chosen that already, love that about yourself. You're showing up and you're doing something good for yourself. I'll tell you mine. I'm loving that as I get older, I'm becoming more comfortable with getting out of my comfort zone. Whereas I didn't used to. I used to really shy away from anything that made me uncomfortable. And I'm really embracing getting out of my comfort zone and rest. Woo, okay, let's hydrate. Okay, let's go for your next round. You're gonna have your palms facing each other because you have a hammer curl, but I need you to slightly hinge forward. So you're going to hammer curl, elbows are in, lower down, and then you're gonna go right to a bent over row. Elbows above your back, lower down, hammer curl, Lower down, row, lower down. So you're gonna really fight gravity with that hammer curl. Then your second exercise, once again, hinged forward, give a back fly. When you come down, you're gonna do a straight arm kickback. So fly, straight arm kickback. With that fly, I need you to go back and shoulder blades together. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not a lateral raise. We're going back, 
shoulder blades coming together. And for that straight arm kickback, you're just lifting your arms straight above your back. Then our cardio is a knee up and over. You're gonna pull your knee up, put it down, up, put it down, up, put it down, up, put it down. That's it, no jumping, unless you wanna jump. That's up to you. I'm gonna do 15 pounds for my hammer curl row and eight pounds for my back fly and my straight arm kickback. So I think today I'm mostly just using 15s and eights. I feel like that's what I'm probably gonna use, like the whole workout. Okay, so let's get ready for this. Back is flat, chest is open. So no rounding of the back. We want a nice straight back. Are you ready? Here we go. Hammer curl and row. Hammer curl, core is in, row. Slight bend in the knees. Hammer curl, row. Elbows above the back. You got five more seconds. Rest. Set those down. I'm gonna grab my eights. So we've got that back fly, straight arm kick back. Take a deep breath, bent over, core is in. Here we go. Back fly, straight arm kick back. Let's do that again. Now, we do not want momentum here. We want muscle control, right? So I do not want to see that. That's cheating. We don't want to cheat. We want to get stronger. We want to use our muscles. So really control that on the way down. And on the way down, yeah. Last one. Put those weights down. Knee up and over. Take a deep breath. So you're just lifting your knee up, placing it down, up, placing it down, just back and forth. Here we go. Up, over, up, over. I just like to pump my arms. Get my arms working. If you wanna jump, you're here. I am not gonna jump today, because I want you to see that you can work hard, even with low impact. And as we get older, for those of us that are getting older, we wanna protect our joints. I still love to jump, don't get me wrong, I jump often, but I have found that I'm mixing it up more and more, doing a lot more low impact than I used to, protect my joints. Back to the fly with a straight arm kickback. How you doing? You're good. Right? You're good. Okay. Here we go. Fly. Straight arms. Fly. Straight arms. Really 
bring those shoulder blades together. And with that straight arm kickback, we're getting our triceps and the back of our shoulders, our posterior deltoids. So we're getting a lot of work done in these two exercises. And rest. Put those down. Woo, we got the knee up and over. Take a breath. Are you ready for this? In five seconds. Are you ready? Let's do it. Up and over. Now when you cross that knee over, think about squeezing your inner thigh a little bit, right? Pump those arms. Right now, right here, I feel a little bit like a Jane Fonda workout, right? I feel like I remember seeing this on the TV when I was a kid. I don't know. I'll tell you what, everything that was popular at one time always comes back. I see kids wearing clothes that I'm like, I wore those in junior high or, or high school. Like, everything's coming back. That could be the same for workouts. Step aerobics. Making a little bit of a comeback. I'm all for it. And rest. Okay. One more time through. And then we've got one more round before we finish with our core. Grab those weights. Okay, here we go. Let's finish strong. Hammer curl. Back row. I'm gonna tell you a secret. So, I like working back, but I honestly don't like going very heavy with my weight for the back. And the reason is, I do not like a broad back on myself. So, it is okay if you decide for certain exercises you don't wanna go as heavy because you don't want bigger muscles. You wanna tone them, strengthen them, but you don't necessarily want them bigger. That is okay. Rest. People say things, other trainers say things like, oh, you should always be trying to go heavier. I don't, I don't agree with that. This is my own personal opinion. Let's fly. Because we all have different goals. So if your goal is to build bigger muscles, if that's your goal, your goal is to always be lifting heavier, that's awesome. And there's nothing wrong with that. But that does not have to be your goal. There is not one goal that works for everyone. So for me, my goal right now is not to just keep lifting heavier and heavier. That's not what I want. That's not my goal. I wanna be strong and I wanna tone my muscles, but I don't necessarily want a broad back or gigantic shoulders. That's not my goal. And rest. So, I just want to throw that out there because I've seen that come up more where people say like, no, you should always be going heavier and heavier, but you don't have to do that. If that's not your goal, that's okay. All right, let's cardio. Here we go, up and over. And I just was thinking about that because someone had messaged me and said, well, you can't go as heavy if you're combining movements, which is true. But I do that sometimes because you work harder, get a little cardio in there, and my goal is to get strong, tone muscles, not necessarily just increase the size of my muscles. That's not really my goal. And as I get older, I have found I like working out in strength training, but not necessarily power lifting or heavy weight training. That's not my goal. So I want you to know it's okay if we all have different goals. And rest. So never feel bad if your goal is not the same as someone else's because it's okay, we can have different goals. Fitness is movement, getting stronger, reaching goals you have for yourself. That can be done in a variety of ways. Okay, we're going to the floor. I'm gonna have um, my eights and my 15s. Once again, like I said, my eights and my 15s, that seems to be my go-to for today. Okay. 
So, we have two exercises, once again, combination movements. So, lay it on back, I'm just gonna use the floor. We have a skull crusher. Skull crusher, when you come to the top, you're gonna do a chest fly. You get back to the top, you do a skull crusher, then you do a chest fly. So that skull crusher, it's just a hinge at the elbows, nothing else is moving. With the chest fly, you're hugging your big beach ball. Okay, that's your first exercise. Your second exercise is a chest press with a close grip press. It sounds a little confusing. So what you're gonna do, press to the top. When you come down, you're gonna, you're gonna rotate and lower down to where your elbows go right next to your ribs. Then you're gonna push straight up. Then when you come down this time, you're gonna rotate back out. Do a chest press, come down, do a close grip press, come down. So we have these little rotations going on. Yeah, and then we're gonna do mountain climbers on the floor for our cardio. I know you're really excited about that because we all love mountain climbers, right? It's actually one of my least favorite exercises, but it does work our core and it is good for us, but we're gonna do it low impact. All right, are you ready? Lay it on down. Here we go. Skull crusher to the top, chest fly to the top. Skull crusher to the top, chest fly to the top. Be careful with those weights as you lower them, as you do not hit your head. That would be bad. And rest. Okay, go ahead and put those weights down. You're gonna grab heavier weights for your chest press and close grip press. Okay, grab those weights, lower yourself back down. We're gonna start with the chest press, here we go. Press to the top, rotate, lower back down. Now go straight up, rotate open, lower back down. Do you see the pattern here? Up, rotate, lower back down. Straight up, rotate, lower back down. Straight up, rotate in, lower back down. Straight up, rotate out, lower back down. So we're going between a chest press and we rotate in, we come down close grip press. We go up in the close grip press, we rotate open, we come down in the chest press. See that? Yeah, it's kind of, it sounds really complicated, but once you get the little pattern going, it's really fun. And rest. Okay, come on up. Mountain climbers. I'm gonna tuck my shirt in for this. You're gonna be in a plank, knees in. Okay, that's it, knees in. Are you ready? Here we go. In, in. Just bring the toe in and touch it. Now, make sure you've got your core pulled in and you've got your shoulders stacked on top of your wrist. How are you doing? Back is down, right? No booties in the air. You can do this. Rest. Okay, come back around. We're gonna go to that skull crusher again with the chest fly. Lower yourself back down. Arms straight up. Ready? Here we go. Lower to the top, chest fly, squeeze the armpits together. Really squeeze as you come to the top, like you're trying to squeeze a ball. Are you breathing with me? And 
and rest. Okay, go ahead and put those weights down. Grab your heavier weights. Okay, ready? Lower yourself back down, nice and controlled. Chest press, close grip press. Here we go. Press to the top, rotate in, lower down. Press to the top, rotate out, lower down. Press to the top, rotate in, lower down. So palms are facing each other. Now they're out, we lower down. Palms are out, now they're facing each other, we lower down. That's your pattern. So we're getting chest, we're getting triceps. And rest, all right, come back up, put those weights down. We're gonna go back to that mountain climber, low impact mountain climber. Okay, so 45 seconds. We're gonna dig deep, right? We're gonna go for it. We're going to be strong. We're gonna pull our core in and keep our back flat. Here we go. So just tap your toe. Take it back out. Now this is, I don't want that. Flat back. Pull that core in, right? Belly button towards the spine. If you want to run this, you want to be here, you're welcome to do that. Five seconds. And rest. One more time through this round. And we're gonna finish with a little core. Grab your weights, your lighter weights, because we have the skull crusher with the chest fly. All right. Are you ready for this? Arms straight up. Here we go. Lower. Extend out to the side, to the top. Lower, extend out to the side, to the top. And rest. All right. Set those weights down. One more time of our mountain climbers. One more time. We're so close. We're just going to finish with a little core after this. Are you ready for this? Last time through. I know you can do this. So make sure that your palms are flat on the ground. Ready? Here we go. Core is in. And you want to be stacked over the top of your wrist. So I don't want you way back here. See how that's far back? Bring that forward. There we go. It's actually kind of hard on your shoulders when you're way far back. So if we can stay stacked, that's ideal. Pull that core 
in. Make sure you breathe. And rest. Second exercise, heel down, toes up, you have a Russian twist. Touch your elbow, rotate, touch your elbow, touch your elbow. Pull that core in, belly button towards the spine. With or without the weight, here we go. And touch, touch, belly button's in. Rotating in the core. You can do this. If you have to stop and take breaks, that's okay. I realize that we all have different core strength. Totally fine. So I need you to work within yours. So if you find that 45 seconds is a long time and you're struggling, that's okay, take rest. Each time you do it, you try to go a little bit longer than the time before, and you just keep building your endurance. But stick with it. You won't get stronger if you give up. And rest. Now I want you to take that weight and put it above your knees between your thighs. This is just added on for intensity. You can do this without the weight. You're gonna sit on the legs, sit, I'm sorry, sit on your hands and you've got leg lowers. Here we go. So with the weight, is gonna make it harder. So if you wanna do this without the weight, go ahead. You can also bend your knees. That will make it a little bit easier. The straighter your legs are, the more challenging it is. Keep your back pressed to the floor. So only lower your legs as low as you can go with the back still touching the floor. If you start to arch your back, then don't go any lower. So if you get to here and that's it, great. Start there. That's awesome. This, totally fine. Eventually you'll work up to lowering them a little more each time and rest. Take this weight, you're gonna be here. Scissor kicks with the weight passing between your legs or without the weight, either spine. Here we go. You can also do this with bent legs. This is great too. So you choose the one that works best for you. We're just passing that weight back and forth between the legs. So you're staying up in a crunch. If you wanna do this without the weight, you can clap underneath, all right? All right. We just have one exercise left. I know this is intense core. Very little rest. Lots of core action here. Lots of burning in the abs and rest. Once again, weight between your thighs. You have a reverse crunch, tap your toes on the floor. Reverse crunch, tap your toes on the floor. It's your last one, are you ready? Here we go. 
Footprint to the ceiling. Tap your toes. Lifting the hips. Tap the toes. With or without the weights. So you're using your core to lift your glutes off the floor, not momentum. Feet straight up, not over your head. It's not a big movement, so don't feel like you have to get your glutes really high off the floor. Just high enough that you get a contraction in your abdominals. Almost there. And rest. Oh, you guys, we're done. How do you feel? Pretty good? Okay, take your arms, put them behind your back. Your fingertips should be facing away from you and just walk them out. Walk them out, we're gonna stretch the shoulders. So as far as you can go, where you feel a nice stretch in your shoulders and you're gonna press your chest forward. So you should feel this on the front of your shoulders. And you're just gonna hold it here. This is a great stretch for the shoulders. Ooh. A little cardio effect with the core when you're using the weights. Anybody else notice that? Okay, walk those hands in. Walk them slowly, slowly. Okay, take your hands and clasp them behind your thighs and then round your back. So you're using your hands to kind of guide, let your back go without like falling all the way to the floor and just round through your back, opening the shoulder blades. Ooh, that feels so good. Stretch out between the shoulder blades. Come back to the top, clasp your hands behind your back and just open. Let's open up that chest, front of the shoulders. Now, cross one leg over the other. So cross your leg. If you can, open that knee and just push your chest forward. You should feel that right here in the outside of your hip. Now what I want you to do is the foot that's on top, I want you to let that fall to the side so that it's on the floor. Take the outside arm, hook it around your outside of your knee, and then twist. Let's get a little spinal twist here. You're gonna feel this in the outside of the hip, but also it's a nice twist for your spine. By the way, this stretch helps with digestion. So if you ever struggle with your digestion moving, struggling with constipation, these twisting moves will actually help. Come back, let's switch legs. So cross the other leg on top. Oh, this is my sore side and push forward. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you have that spot? You ever get that spot? You're like, oh, the other side didn't hurt. This one does. So clearly this side's still sore from yesterday's legs. Okay, let that foot fall to the floor. Take that outside arm right at your knee and then push and twist. And come back around, unhook your feet. You did such a great job today. Thank you so much for joining me for that upper body, total body workout with core. I hope that you had fun. Tomorrow is a stretch day, so I would love for you to join me back here. Just stretch, help those muscles actively, actively recover, work on your flexibility. We're also working on balance and core activation. So that would be tomorrow, and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank you.